Dave White, what's going on? Well, uh, I'm hoping that we've got kind of the the uh, perfect storm here, which is the Fed uh, kind of keeping the markets on hold till tomorrow. At yes, two. I think and you then, do. Yeah. And then, of course, two days. So we're watching the uh, premiums uh, decay, uh, like uh, melt like ice cream on Georgia asphalt in the middle of the summer. Yes. So at this point, we're going to have just a couple of days uh, to actually fill out those last two days of the monthly expiration. So I'm hoping that that'll all work out so we can buy some fairly cheap uh, 25 cent options that'll go to a buck or higher. And, and when Dave's explaining this, folks, okay, so this Friday is option expiration. The workshop is tomorrow from 4 to 5. So w what does happen is that, as Dave says, two, a couple different things end up happening. The premiums, even in high volatility stocks, are much lower because, of course, by the time you wake up Thursday morning, you get all of 24 hours until the, those expire. So what you're looking for is that you're looking for, it doesn't matter whether you get a big move higher or a big move lower tomorrow, then the next 48 hours, okay, what are you going to do for me? And that is uh, it. And, of course, um, they have to really kind of state their objectives before Friday, and they start uh, what is normally known as Delta Neutral Day, which is eight days before options. And so far, they're just playing it safe and down the middle and figuring that we're not going higher or lower. But tomorrow, whatever the Fed says, they're probably going to have to rejigger all that for Friday. Yes. And the options tomorrow night are going to tell us a great deal about where they w think that those uh, stocks are going to push, uh, be pushed. And, of course, as options market makers, they know where all the bodies are buried, uh, where people uh, are at in positions. And, of course, uh, you know, a lot of them uh, are trading their own book. So they have uh, their own shares to push uh, the stock around fairly violently on the last couple of days. Not only that, but this is quad witching. So you also have the uh, uh, the uh, futures folks getting involved for Friday. But the uh, futures expire at 9.35 in the morning, where the options expire at 4 p.m. Yes. on Friday. So you get, a lot of times, kind of a, a big push uh, for the folks in the, uh, in the uh, futures market. And that gives you the and opens the door for you to get something for the close where they may push it into that four o'clock close. And what Dave's talking about here, this is really cool, folks. Okay, whether you come to this workshop or not, I want you to pay attention to the expiration on the open, because of what Dave's talking about here, when you have quad witching, what ends up happening is that the options on the futures expire on the open on Friday. And what tends to happen is that they can push that up 20 or 30 points, man, uh, just for the open. And if you're wondering what, why this happens, you have to watch it over and over again. But you will see that's going to get pushed around. It get pushed around higher or lower. But it's quite a spike. And then, as Dave said, you can take advantage of that to go on any side of the market you want. It, it's really intriguing. You know, when they always have the options on the futures expiring, Dave, on the open, because it's like, man, it's hard to comprehend how they can actually push the market around. And they do. You can see it. You can absolutely yeah. see it. Man. It's, as, soon as, as soon as all the stocks are open at 935, whatever the price is there, that's where the futures expire. Yes. So the, the, rest, of the, uh, the rest of the time, which is uh, what? six hours and 25 minutes yep. it's all racing to options expiration at the end of the day all right so you got a lot of stuff going on you gotta love it and folks it's very easy to come into the workshop you come over to our website at tfnn you're going to see right on the front page uh right under featured content the path of least resistance you can you know you, you, dave has two newsletters he's the path of least resistance as well as the tech insider you can get either one of those bottom line you get a great newsletter for a month you come into the workshop. If you, if it works for you, folks, great. You just keep getting it. If it doesn't work for you, you get a full money back guarantee. So you want a great workshop. Uh, you really want to understand what option expiration is all about, what white lightning is all about. We didn't, Dave and I didn't bring that up, but that's what we're talking here. We're talking about white lightning, uh, <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing. Really understanding how markets move. 
Very easy to get into, folks. Hit that subscribe button and you are off to the races. You have a great one, Dave. Safe one. And, of course, uh, we look for a show tomorrow. We look forward to the webinar tomorrow, man. You bet. Thank we'll you. see you all then. That's right. Have a great one, man.